I remember being about six, being on my bunk bed and just like wanting to cut my stomach off, like a really like vivid memory. I had an eating disorder defined as Ednos. It can have characteristics of anorexia and bulimia. I was overwhelmed with like guilt and shame. Didn't speak to my family. It was very isolated, just felt so alone. And I, I just had no confidence to do anything. And I was always sharing videos about American footballers or fighters. I just wanted to have a go, you know, I wanted to get stronger. You know, for what Zoe is doing, this is fairly unique. You go to training sessions here, and yeah, they're going at each other. You can't go there feeling like you're weak, and you can't go there feeling like you can't do something. You kind of have to be like, no, I can hold this. I can do it, let's do it again. Let's do it again. Let's see what they have to bring. American football's kind of given me a purpose. There was one day when the Cobras were having the stall for the athletics day, and the doorman said I had bigger shoulders than half of the guys on the stall, and I was like, thank you. Just like, he's like taking it as a compliment now. In a weird way, like I see it, you know, that's my job to be big, and it's my job to be strong, and it makes me feel really good about myself. I don't want anyone else to feel how I felt. So one of my kind of messages when I go around talking to people is treat yourself like a human being. Respect yourself and, and go get help if you need it. One, two, three, Come on! One, two, three, Come on!